I have three different size brushes that I'm using. A, a little bitty one for the quarter inch and this for the half and this for the three quarters. I have three different sizes of little uh, stripes. Statement stripes. And I'm going to use the Martha Stewart's black Beetle Black. And I have it marked where I'm going to just going to come up with a little bitty little bitty fourth inch stripes. And they're going up to meet the yellow. Uh-oh, I just made a mess. Well, when I say about messes, it's okay. You can fix them. Got the black down on this little ledge. Which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that little ledge. We'll see. I haven't totally decided yet. It'll hit me. It'll hit me at some point in this project. But I'm going to do something because I'm breaking it. I'm going to break it up between the little bitty stripes and the big ones. Because they're not the same size. And they're not going to go into each other. Because I planned it that way. I wanted little bitty ones up here. Can you see that? I think you can see that. That's a little bitty quarter inch. And they're going to go all the way around the little elephant. Then, so I'm going to do that off camera. But I'm going to do some of these stripes on the stately stripes with my half inch brush. Oops. Well, it's okay because that's going to be black on that side. You know, it's actually Elizabeth. I'm doing this elephant for her. She's the one, the main one, who's been telling me, Mom, you need to do these videos for YouTube. Her and Kimmy. But Elizabeth started it. Kimmy has some other ideas of things for me to do. But they were out of the question. I know you're wondering, but I'm not going to tell you. So I'm going to get this little side done. This is going to be a much shorter video. And remember, I have to paint another one to match this one, but I will not do that on this on, on film anyway. I'll do that in the middle of the night <laughs> when I can't sleep. Now, can you see that? Let's see. Well, I'm just trying to get the camera down. Okay, see the stripes? That's the red angle, isn't it? See? Alright, and then on the front, it's going to be, I'll start it. Uh, but I need, I need my inch, my three-quarter inch brush. And I'm just doing the royal square. So I'm getting everything on this one. Royal squares, stately stripes, 
And I'm going to do the dignified dots at some point. That comes at the end. Dang, I'm getting started. I marked my X's where the black goes so I don't make a mistake. This was a perfect three quarter inch squares. I measured across and however far this was. It was five and a quarter across, and that divided up into three quarter inches. Perfectly. No question about it. And the little ones, the quarter inch ones, were exactly perfect, too. And I'm coming. Every other royal square is black. One more, and then I will finish this and come back, and we'll do some more. All right, there. So we've got that and that. It's going to have the black and white all the way around the base. The yellow is going to have dignified dots, and I'm probably going to put some dots on somewhere else. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. So that's it for a little while, and see you later. We're ready now to do the dignified dots, and I'm going to do it all on the yellow. I decided to paint this little second ledge the same yellow as I did the top little ledge to add the color that Elizabeth wanted in her living room or her bookcase. It's behind this chair that has this color and the yellow and the black and white. And <clears throat> while <laughs> you were gone, I did the little eyes. I put uh, a little black around the eyes. I put a little pupil in both eyes. And both eyes it is a little black around and it has blue eyes like Elizabeth and I finished the stripes all the way around the stately stripes go all the way around the base had to measure to make sure it all worked out evenly and it did so now I'm ready to do the dots and I'm gonna do them in black I'll start with the black and just go just all over. <laughs> There's not going to be any rhyme, no reason really to where they go. And I'm going to put three colors. I'm going to put the black. I mixed up some more of this blue with the two, the ocean blue and the deep sea mixed together. It's going to be the blue dots, which is the color on the elephant. Oh dear, I got some black on the elephant's bottom. That with my Q-tip. And sometimes I lick it. I have to confess. Spit. It works. And you can't get to water <laughs> in a hurry. Okay. All right. Now, and it took a little of the blue paint off. But guess what? I can touch it up. That's the great thing I keep saying. You can't mess up, really. You can always fix a little, little thing. Let me get, get around where you can see that side. And I'm just randomly putting the black. Sometimes I have more of a method. And I, I got black on the butt of the elephant again. Uh, and you know what? When I touch that, it, the, the uh, green paint comes off. So I just 
this is why this has to dry for a few days and then when the clear gloss gets on there it'll seal everything up and it won't come off can you see the dots the dignified dots we named everything the royal squares the dignified dots and the stately stripes and according to family lore and according to a very uh, experienced person checking out genealogies we have a little bit of royal blood <laughs> maybe in us <laughs> uh, on my mother's side I've told this story before but you know what I know you don't watch all these things so um, our genealogy goes back to the Howards in England and Sir Thomas Howard who was the uncle of Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard who were the two wives of Henry the eighth who were beheaded maybe that explains a little bit of how us girls are in this family I don't know <laughs> um, they're strong-willed that's for sure stubborn that's for sure um, so you see I'm coming I'm coming all the way around with the black and then I'm gonna do some of the blue which I mixed up let me see, I'll start here. The blue's not as thick. It's not making as big a dot. Anyway, so, we've all... We've always called her Elizabeth, my daughter, my firstborn daughter. She was named after her grandmother, actually. Um, we've always called her Queen Elizabeth. For reasons I will not go into. <laughs> she was a handful. Still is. Love you, Lizzie. But she knows. It's not, a, I'm not telling anything that she doesn't know and the whole world doesn't know who knows Elizabeth so we decided to name all the little things things that had to do with royalty therefore the royal squares the stately stripes and the dignified dots and I'm so happy to have names for them because I've been painting these all these things for all these years and they were nameless so can you see I've come around the front now I'm gonna I'll finish this later but I'm just showing you I'm gonna do some white I'll start back and uh, I'll add some white and the white is thicker it's making bigger dots I don't know why I just love to add dots to everything almost not everything but if it calls to me <laughs> if it says dots I put dots with this little contraption that my nail girl who does my nails who does my toes putting little flowers on my toes on my big toe she had this and I said I have to have that for my painting and she gave it to me I've since found they do have these little tools I even bought some in case something ever happened to this one that have the little circles on the bottom in all different sizes I think I found them at Michael's 
That's where I get a lot of my brushes. That's where I get my Martha Stewart paints. Go to Penny Michaels, Home Depot. I pretty much. Okay, there. Now, what do you think? I better not get paint on this black wow, I'm so silly. Uh, it's coming along. And when it gets the glaze, the high gloss on it, it's just going to make make it just pop out of there and look like porcelain. It's going to look really great. And it's going to go in Elizabeth's house on her bookshelf. And they're going to be adorable. And I've got to match, do the other one to match. But I'll finish the dots and then come back and show you it finished. Life is getting sweeter.